Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Surfer. Surfer is a versatile gridding, contouring, and surface mapping software package. In this video, I will cover the various map properties in Surfer. When a new map is created in Surfer, a map frame is added to the contents window. The map frame is the entire map object, and it consists of all the axes and layers shown indented below the map in the contents window. The layers are the individual map types that are used to display the data. In this example, the color relief object is the only map layer in this map frame. Multiple map frames can exist within a single surfer project, and each map frame can consist of multiple map layers. You can edit the properties for each individual map layer by selecting the layer in the contents window. Editing properties of map layers will be covered in the training videos for individual map types. You can edit the common properties for all map layers in the map frame, such as the view, scale, and limits properties, by selecting the map object in the contents window. The properties window then displays the properties for the selection. The view page contains the properties to adjust the viewing angle and projection of the map, as well as an option to display the map in a 3D view document window. The scale page contains properties for adjusting the scale of the map. You can proportionally scale your map by checking the proportional XY scaling checkbox and then changing either the length or the unit scale in the X or Y direction. Or you can uncheck this box to adjust the scaling individually in each direction. Additionally, when your map is proportionally scaled, you can set a scaling ratio for the entire map. So we could type 85,000 into the scaling ratio field to specify that one inch on the map equals 85,000 meters, since our map is in UTM coordinates. The limits page contains the options to specify how much of the map to display. By default, the data limits are entered so that the entire map is displayed. If you only want to see a portion of the map, or if you want to expand the map limits to display a larger area than the map, you can adjust the limits here. To reset the data limits back to the default settings and display just the entire map, check the Use Data Limits checkbox. The frame page lists the line and fill properties for the map border. For example, we can choose to display a solid green line around the map and fill within the line with a hatched pattern. We can see the green outline at the axes and since we've increased the map limits, we can see the hatched fill behind the color relief layer. If we hadn't increased the limits, we wouldn't see the fill since it would be obscured by the map layer. The coordinate system page displays the coordinate system of the map frame. These are the units that the axes are displayed in, and they are the units that the map will be exported in if you export to a geo-referenced file. If the name shown is unreferenced local system, the map does not have a coordinate system associated with it. To manually set or change the coordinate system of the map, or to load in a geo-referencing file containing coordinate system information, click the Change button. The info page displays information about the selected object. For objects in a base map, this information could include length or area measurements or attribute information. But for a map frame, there usually isn't any information to display here. This concludes the video training for map properties in Surfer. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.